Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Welcome to another edition of our tutorial club. Today we will be discussing laws of radicals. Before watching this video, please make sure that you watch our review in laws of exponent and the introduction to radical expressions and rational exponents. Now let's start. If b is an element of real numbers and n is a positive integer, the symbol n root of b is called the radical. Okay, let us familiarize our radical, n root of b. The n here is what we call the index. Our b is what we call the radical. And this is our radical symbol. And we have definition of square root and cube root. So, square root and cube root. You already discussed in your first quarter that we have the perfect square numbers and the perfect cube numbers. Make sure that you master those numbers to easily understand these laws of radical. For a positive real number a, square root of a is equal to x, if and only if x squared is equal to a, and x is greater than 0. Also, square root of 0 is equal to 0. Next, for any real number a, cube root of a, or the cube root, is equal to x even only if x cubed is equal to a. Also, cube root of 0 is equal to 0. To better understand this definition and of course our radicals, let's have the following examples. Give the value of each radical. a is square root of 121. What will, uh, what will be our value? So, following our definition of square root, 121 can be written in 11 squared. That will give us 121. That means the square root of 121 is 11. Here, if and only if, x squared, that would be x squared is equal to a. Our A here is 121. This will be our value, 11. Next, cube root of 343. Review your perfect cube numbers. 343, that is 7 cube. 343. Following our definition, cube root of A is equal to X. Our x here is 7. So the value of cube root of 343 is 7. So 7 times 7, 49 times 7, 343. Cube root of negative 1000. Cube root, so this can be written as negative 10 cube. Negative 10 times negative 10 times negative 10. That is negative 1,000. That means our value is negative 10. Cube root of negative 144. Take, take a look at our given. Negative square root of 144. So this is no real solution. Uh, no real value. Why? Because this will lead us to imaginary. Next letter E. Square root of 9 over 10. This can be written as 3 over 10 raised to 2. 3 squared, that is 9, over 10 squared, 100. 
So the value of the square root of 9 over 10 is 3 over 10. 9 over 100 is 3 over 10. And last, cube root of 0 0.008. That is 0 0.2 cube root zero point two times zero point two times zero point two and that is zero point zero zero eight. Therefore our var our value is zero point two. Let us continue our discussion. This time we have the definition of nth root of A, the principal nth root of A. So let A be a real number and N be a positive integer n is greater than or equal to 2. Then we have the following. If a is greater than 0, then n root of a is a positive x, a positive number x, such that x raised to n is equal to a. Number 2, n root of 0 is equal to 0. Number 3, if a is less than 0 and n is odd, then n root of a is the negative number such that x raised to n, such that x raised to n is equal to a. Number four, if a is less than zero and n is even, then n root of a is not a real number. So, this is our previous example, number four, the square root of negative 144, that applies our number 4. And in number 2, let's say 5th root of 0, that is 0. 10th root of 0, still 0. And we have the laws of radicals. For any positive real number, m and n, and any positive real numbers, a and b. Our first law, nth root of a times nth root of b, is equal to nth root of AB. Since we have the same index, just multiply our radicand, A times B. Next, quotient. nth root of A over nth root of B. The same index, N. So we have nth root of our radicand, A over B. And last, nth root of m root of a is equal to m n root of a. So just combine our index, n times m, m n, and our radicand. To better understand our principal root and laws of radicals, let's have the following examples. Direction, apply the laws of radicals, to simplify each of the following. Number one, square root of 9x squared. Number two, square root of 50. Number three, cube root of 54. Number four, cube root of square root of 64. Number five, square root of x raised to 6, y squared. And number six, cube root of negative 8 over 216. If you want to try numbers 1 to 6, pause the video, then after answering, resume watching to check your answers. Let's apply our laws of radical. In number 1, we can use our first law. So this can be written as square root of 9 times square root of x squared. And root of AB, we have the same index. So this is split 9 times x squared. To simplify, we know that square root of 9 is 3. And square root of x squared, that will give us x. Okay? To elaborate, in our extracting the square root, 9 is equal to 3 squared. So we can cancel the square root and square. That is 3. So we have 3 here. Square root of x squared. Cancel the square root and the square. That is equal to x. So we have 3x. That is your first lesson. 
in first quarter. Next, square root of 50. 50 has a factors of 25 times 2. 25 times 2, that is 50. So applying our law number 1, this can be written as square root of 25 times square root of 2. 25 is a perfect square number. So square root of 25, that is 5. Square root of 2, since 2 is not a perfect square number, just copy square root of 2. Let us box our final answers. Cube root of 54. 54 has a factor of 27 times 2. 27 is a perfect cube. 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. So this can be written as cube root of 27 times cube root of 2. Cube root of 27, that will give us 3. Then since 2 is not a perfect cube, just copy cube root of Three cube root of two. And number four. Cube root of square root of 64. Square root of 64. We know that 64 is a perfect square number. That is 8 times 8, 64. So that means copy the cube root, square root of 64, that is 8. Cube root of 8. 8 is a perfect cube. Simplify, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, so this is 2. Or if you want to elaborate 2 cube, cube root of 2 cube, we can cancel, cancel, final answer is 2. Number 5. This can be written as square root of x raised to 6 times square root of y squared. So, we can divide the exponent, 6 divided by 2, so we have x cubed. 6 divided by 2, we have 3. 2 divided by 2, we have 1. But it is understood that we have 1 in our exponent, so we can remove that. For our final answer, x cubed y. And, number 6, for number 6, this can be written as cube root of uh, cube root of 8. 8 is a perfect cube, which is 2. And 2, 1, 6 is a perfect cube, which is 6. So 2 over 6, their sign is negative. So negative 2 over 6. We can write into simplest form, reducing to lowest term, that is negative 1 over 3. Divisible by 2 and divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 6 divided by 2, 3. Negative 1 third. So that's the principal root and the laws of radical. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. You're now ready to answer your modules.